it's me, host Superstar. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got. It's Captain Cardinal. Captain Cardinal is one of the newer figures from the Galaxy Edge range. He was He's the newest one out. He wasn't in any of the big packs at Disney World, as far as I'm aware. And speaking of that, this is a part of the Galaxy's Edge Trading Outpost back, uh, Batu line. The new Galaxy's Edge Trading Post line. Um, these are in Target in America, but over here in the United Kingdom, as we don't have Target, they are available to our online retailers. I recommend using In Demand Toys, Kapow Toys, and Comics and Cocktails. Those are the three best ones that I find to use. And they always help you know, help me tra track down the goodies that I'm looking for. So, in today's video, it will be Captain Cardinal, the... Um, Captain of the First Order, along with Captain Phasma, but is a, is a rival to Captain Phasma, also known as Archex, and formerly CD0922 is his military designation. And he's a member uh, of the Resistance, but is actually a traitor. <sighs> traitor! <laughs> and uh, yeah, he's he did actually help the Resistance on Batu. But guys, this is from the Trading Outpost, as I said, and in the in Batu, basically, in Disney World and California, and soon to be Paris, they did release the big sets, which were about $70, $80 each, I believe. And one of them included um, Ray, Chewbacca, um, some Pogs, and I think Hondo. And then the other one included DJ Rex, C3PO, R2D2, BB-8. I believe that's how it went. And then you had the Gold Stormtrooper, who came with the little mouse droid with Cap with uh, Kylo Ren? Um, <clears throat> but Cardinal, as far as I'm aware, this is a brand new figure for the line. He wasn't actually in, that Gold Stormtrooper is coming, I believe, single carded very soon. Uh, I can't remember his name. He's in that. Is it Flight of the Resistance or something? That weird cartoon thing with yeah, I weren't a fan of that. I didn't, I, to be fair, I've only watched the first three episodes, but I weren't a big fan. So guys, without further ado, let's get on with it, taking a look at this one. I can see on the back of the packaging it doesn't have a designation. That's because this is from the separate line, but they have given us a nice separate side panel here. So when you put them together in your collection, you'll see these all belong together and they don't have the numbers, series numbers. It does have the figure on the back there, a nice artist rendering with a little write-up which states, Served as Armitage, sorry, Armitage Hooks' as personal guard as he was among the orphans that Brendan Hooks took in to create the first order from. <coughs> so if you guys are wondering where else this character, this character this characters came from, the main uh, source for this character is actually from the Captain Phasma book. So if you haven't seen that, please do go check out the, Cap the Captain Phasma book. And then they gave him a bit more of a story for the Batu trading outpost. Um, I'm just looking over my notes. So yeah, it was the... Captain Phasma, and then the Galaxy's Edge Black Spire book. And of course he also appeared in the Galaxy's Edge Black Spire Shattered Planet. But only in mention. Um, he was the guy that actually captured and uh, interrogated uh, V. Moradi, who is the blue-haired um, character that you will have seen, the female uh, resistance fighter, that you will have seen in all the stuff for Disney. When the show when the show off, uh, Batu, she's usually the the rebel they usually show. Um, she looked a bit like Sabine Wren to be fair, in, in my opinion. I thought it was Sabine when the thing was first released. Uh, but yeah, she has got her own story uh, in the Black Spire Outpost novel. I've been slowly but surely getting back on track, reading some of these novels, and I've been listening to a lot of audio books actually because now I've got um, I've got Prime. I can listen to the audio books for free. And a lot, a lot of these audiobooks are free to listen to now. So they're, they're definitely worth, while you're working from home, if you need something to listen to, definitely worth picking up some of these stories. And I think I've recommended it a few times before, but the uh, Marvel comic version of Galaxy's Edge is worth picking up. It's a bunch of short stories. It's I think it's six comics long, and each one was a different story from different characters. It includes uh, Han Solo and... Uh, and then you've got uh, Dr. Do Do Aphra's got a story in there, and it's really cool to see Batu come to life as a part of the canon now, not just in the theme parks. So here is Captain Cardinal out of the packaging, really liking, liking the cape on this one. So he's got a nice silver band, which is what Captain Phasma also had on her cape. Um, this guy would look very cool leading a bunch of red stormtroopers, I, think, I feel. Um, but I don't have many, I need to buy some more First Order fodder. I don't have many. I need to buy some more First Order Troopers so I can make a nice battalion of these guys. 
Um, he does come with a single side halted pistol, but he doesn't have anywhere to hold it, which is a shame. He has no pistol holder, but it comes with a little red pistol. And then he also comes with the standard issue Stormtrooper gun, but it's red and black. But I will go ahead and pop that. I love when we go to Hollywood Studios and you got the the um, March of the First Order where they come through the park and stuff. That that was so cool. If you remember, I've got a video somewhere on my channel from Disneyland Paris where Captain Phasma basically aimed straight at us. Uh, and he said, um, "There's some rebel spies. Maybe it's you." And she came back, came, came, came marching all the way over to us. It's so cool. Um, as a big fan of Star Wars, I love stuff like that, and I think it's great how Disney's been including Star Wars more seriously in a lot of their stuff now. They've, Obviously, with um, with Black Spiral Post, they're, they're taking it very seriously, which I love. So this figure is very nicely detailed. I'm loving the red paint app. It looks really nice. So the head is on a ball joint, so you can make him look up and down a little bit, as well as left and right. But the up and down hinge isn't very good. The arms do lift up at this top hinge here, and do also rotate. There's also rotation at the bicep with a single hinged elbow, which is very nice on this one. And there's a little hand ball joint there as well. There is crunch around this abdomen joint, which is nice. No further way swivel though, but you can swivel him at the top hinge. His legs lift out a little bit, not overly far. The art is hindered by the accessory pieces, as well as forwards, backwards, top thigh cut is there, double hinged knees and rocker and pivot on the feet. And he does have little holes in the base of his feet should you wish to use a display base. Not that you need to, I've never really found Black Series figures needing them. Same as Marvel Legends, it's just, once you've had them a little while, if you like me, and you take a lot of photos and do a lot of posing and things like that with the figures, then you will find they will, over time, require a stand, because they will get pretty loose. But this guy feels really sturdy. See, I'm really liking this figure, this is really nice. But let's go down to the desk cam, guys, and take a closer look at this figure, and we'll also delve a little bit more into the history of Captain Cardinal. So here he is out of the packaging guys looking very cool. Loving this red armor. It's so good. It looks so nice. Obviously now we, we, we've, we've seen the rise of Skywalker. We've seen the Sith Troopers. It's very very similar but it's so nice. I'm loving the, the black on red. So it's going to look very cool once I've got a battalion of troopers together and I think it'll just look, it'll look awesome stood at the front of them. But um, his original name is actually Archex and he was born and spent his early life on Jakku. At some point in his childhood, his mother died, leaving him to survive on his own with other orphans on the desolate planet. Near the end of the Battle of Jakku, Archex and several other orphans were invited by Imperial General Brendel Hooks to come with the Imperials into the Unknown Regions, and they agreed and basically got instructed into becoming Stormtrooper Cadets, and was given the code names. <clears throat> his code name designation was CD0922. From there, he became a loyal uh, stormtrooper and worked his way up the ranks, <coughs> becoming Captain Cardinal and getting, being given his red armor. He even showed the betrayal of Captain Phasma and was even able to capture uh, V. Moradi, who is the resistance spy that we've seen on Batu before and was um, had been assigned by Leia Organa to research uh, the First Order and the battle cruisers and things like that. Um, but yeah, there was a venomous beetle apparently that basically snuck on board and was killed the elder Hooks, and his son was then put in charge. And when I believe it was Captain um, Phasma who had done that in order to put the son in charge, because the son and she was more, they were more buddies. And so Captain uh, Cardinal tried to show the uh, what Phasma had done, and it basically backfired on him. Poor guy. But he ended up leaving the uh, the Resistance and stuff. Uh, it's a very good story. It's all explained in the Phasma story. Amongst uh, that and there's another one called Black Spire. Uh, sorry, Galaxy's Edge Black Spire, which is the story about V. Murati. Um, very worth picking up. Both of them are by, uh, are by Delia S. Dawson. You can get them both on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested. Please do check them out. It basically fleshes out all these cool characters. And I hope that, we don't, that we're going to see more of these uh, characters like this brought in. Because it's nice to have characters that are not just from the series of films all the time. But some of the more original characters. Um, same as I, I would still love them to give us... Uh, Virati is a character because she's really cool and very different. But please do check up, uh, please do pick up the uh, 
the novels if you're interested. Like I said, link in the description if you want to check them out. And definitely pick up a Captain Cardinal, because he is absolutely amazing. But guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please make sure you hit the like button. Leave us a comment down below. I do respond to each and every single comment. And let's go back to the main cam and finish off today's video. So guys, what are your thoughts on this figure? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this review, then please make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Subscribing really supports us, really helps us out, and helps us keep making awesome videos. We have got a giveaway at 30,000 followers, which we're not far off hitting, so make sure you're subscribed to be in for a chance of winning on this awesome giveaway. Guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, I'm your host, Soup Sorrel, and I'll see you in the next video. May the Force be with you. Bye!